Hi everyone, happy Saturday. It's Naomi Kanaika from gospelthrougharts.com. It's a beautiful Saturday. Today is my husband's birthday as well. I thank God for his life. I thank God that he has given me into our family as my spouse, as my partner, and as my friend. So today with a grateful heart, I want to encourage you with the scriptures. And the word is taken from Daniel chapter 3. And this is the story about these three young gentlemen, three young men of Israel. And they were not bowing down to the statue that King Nebuchadnezzar has made. And King Nebuchadnezzar's leaders, they get these three boys to come and bow down before the statue of the King Nebuchadnezzar. And they refuse to bow down. And the, and the king doesn't want even to put them in fire, but he has no choice because he has made a decree that whoever doesn't bow down to the statue will be thrown to the fire. So we can see these three gentlemen, three young men come before the king and they say this powerful thing. They say, but if not, be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. They say to the king that we know that our God will save us. But even if he doesn't, we would not bow down or worship to the idols that you have made. Can you and I say that, Lord, even if you don't save me, I will not still worship the other things in the world. I will only worship you. Even if you don't show up, I will still praise you. Can you and I say that like these three young men? They had so much things in the world that tempt them, but they still wanted to serve the mighty God. We can see that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. If it be so, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace and he will deliver us out of thine hand O king they were faithful they knew that God will deliver them but here we can see in verse 18 but if not even if he doesn't save us be it known unto thee O king that we will not serve thy gods nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Can you and I say today that God, even if you do not send me help, I will still love you. I will still search you. I will still praise you. Even though I'm in the storm, even though things are not going the way I want, I will still praise you, God. Can you and I say like this young man, three young men, and we know what the story ends, where these three young men are thrown into the fire. There is a fourth person in the fire. The fourth person is our Lord Jesus. He is on the fire with them. And none of them have even a smell of fire on them. In the burning, they increase the fire as well, but no smell of fire on them. Not a piece of dust on them. That is how faithful our God is. But let us determine in our hearts to say God even if I don't see my results in the lifetime that I'm living even though I don't see the salvation of my loved one I still believe that you can do it even if my answers to my prayers are not met I still believe you can I still believe I will still love you I will still trust you I will still hope in you. That is the hope that Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego had on their God. Can you and I have the same hope on our God who is able, who is able to stand with us in the fire. He promises that he will never leave us nor forsake us even when we go through fire. He will be with us even through the storm. He will be our strength and our help. This is the promise that God has given you and me. Let's believe that. And let's say, 
even if you do not answer the time and the moment that we want our answers, I will still praise you. My, my husband and myself, we're married now for 19 years. We're going to be 20 years next year in July. And I thank God for him. I remember when I was a young girl, waiting for a partner, waiting for a spouse, praying for God to give me the spouse that he wants. And finally, Dilip was the one that God sent. And I thank God for him. He's a quiet spirit, loving man, loving father, loving spouse. And I know that many times we pray together for answers. Many times we pray together to have a baby. Many times we pray together for needs that we really want. God was faithful. We didn't have the answers the way we want. But we are thankful that God sent the answers. He's with you, my brother and sister, in the fire. He's with you in the storm. He's with you in the waves. He's with you in the boat. So whatever you might face, tell to yourself, even though I don't see the answer right now, I will still praise Him. I will still glorify Him. Let's pray today. Father, we come to you. God, we want to say thank you. But still, Lord, even if we don't get the answer the way we want, I will still praise you. Even though my answer is delayed, I will still praise you. Even though my healing hasn't come, I will still praise you. You are good. You are faithful. You are in the fire with me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I was listening to some beautiful worship songs today in the morning. And one song was from Red Collection Rend Collect Collective and it's called Hallelujah Anyway even if my answer doesn't come I will still say Hallelujah to you let's sing this beautiful song with me way to praise you bottom of my broken heart I find a way to thank you. Then I feel and hard. I hope it's all apart. say hallelujah anyway even if we do not get the answer like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego let's say to our mountain let's say to our king Nebuchadnezzar I know our God will save me but even if he doesn't I will still praise only him no other thing I hope this blessed you today I want to show my beautiful pumpkin that me and my children we were decorating two months ago it's all still good i still indoors so it's still good it's beautiful um today i will be going to indigo chapters in kennedy commons and selling my two books even if i don't make a sale i will still praise god for the opportunity and the privilege is given to write the books to publish the books for his glory so I will take the message to myself today. Even if I don't make any sales, I will still praise him. Because he has given me breath. He's given me this privilege to speak to others and to share 
his thoughts, his dreams, his vision with others to encourage. Have a wonderful day everyone. God bless you. Share this message with your friends and your loved ones today. God bless you. Happy Saturday. Bye.